good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning, and I truly, if I know my heart, I'm truly glad to be here. Amen. And, uh, we hope that we can be a blessing, and we will be a blessing if we read God's Word, and, and, uh, and the Holy Spirit takes it and uses it for the honor and glory of God. This morning in chapter 37 of the book of Psalms, we'd like to read a few scriptures this morning, make a few com uh, comments on it. Concerning Freddy, page um, Psalms 37. <clears throat> In verse 1 of the book of Psalms, chapter 37, it says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, mm -hmm. neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Uh, and we, we want to write, read to you this thing with the definition of fret. And it's, it's, a, it's a whole lot of different things that uh, uh, is considered in fretting. But uh, the main thing that I, I see about it is, is that it's a... Uh, being uh, a friend is being identified by a continual complaining or discontentment or impatience mm -hmm. and these are the things sometimes that we have within ourselves and we need to try to uh, control that and the the, uh, the flesh dearly loves to uh, fret mm -hmm. the, the the flesh dearly loves to uh, point fingers at others and point back at itself and say how good I am. And uh, But anyway, this is David's writing and he uh, a lot of times was in a lot of concern, deep problems and things, but he said here, the fret not thyself. And of course he brings on the, the thing of evildoers and we so many times, uh, we look at others and see the way that they're living mm -hmm. and the way that the devil is blessing them. And we mistake that and say, uh, I don't see how in the world that he can have all of these things and be like he is. But the thing of it is, as I said, the devil is blessing. The devil, the devil gives to his own. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he offered it to Jesus. Right. He said, he said, it's all mine. It's been given to me and I'll give it to you if you'll fall down and worship me or if you'll, if you'll uh, do these things. And so it, he's got it. And uh, he can give it to those that serve him to and uh, entice others to serve him. And so David here is saying, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious, uh, uh, desiring to have what they have and to uh, be entertained by uh, worldly riches like they are against the workers of iniquity. For they will soon, they soon, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and withered as the green herbs and this is a this is a, a warning to us this morning that uh you know the bible says if we honor our father and mother our days might be prolonged on the earth amen and uh, we here it says that those that receive these things of course we've seen we've seen some that are rich and uh uh they live to be old age but the, most of the time when you see this thing the end thereof is death mm -hmm. and it's it comes short because uh the flesh wants to hang on to what it has and if if the devil gives it uh gives it this riches and i'm not saying that devil's only one who give riches because i i know that god gives riches too and uh, it may not be in dollars and cents but it's so many more ways that he he gives to us and uh uh, let's us enjoy health and, and uh, uh, children and the love of one another and the fellowship of one another and even of listening to God's word being taught. Mm -hmm. uh, he gives us this. He gives us this pleasure, and this is this is a far richer uh, blessing than uh, than any money that can be given to us because. Amen. It's like this: the grass is cut and soon and, and withered away, and we, it, it, life is going to be over with. Whether we live uh, a, a long time or a short time, it's, it's soon over with. And he says here that they shall soon be cut down like the grass. And, and uh, I, I, I'm assuming that there, he had an, an, an extra meaning by using grass as being cut down. 
and uh, that we we soon see and, and the, the scripture says soon soon we say well wonder where he went to wonder what happened to him and come to find out he's dead and so here's here's the thing uh trust in the lord Amen. and do good and and and, and listen I, I mean this do good uh we we try to do the best we can now we're not going to be good because the Bible says that there's none good except the Father. And, and, and that's, that's a perfect thing. But we can do good, uh, a type of, and, and, and uh, 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 do as close to the, as good as we can. Because in this flesh, we, we, we're not going to do perfect. We're right. not going to be perfect. But he says here, trust in the Lord. And I know we can do that. Uh, and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shall be fed. So there's a promise there that you're going to that you're going to live in the land, and that you're going to be fed. And, and you know he's promised us that uh, he never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. And so uh, this morning, when you get down in the dumps and you start to, uh, 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 wondering about what's going to happen to you and how this is going to happen and that's going to happen, remember this: that he gave us his promise that he never leave us. Now, you know, you may, you may sometimes say, feel like, well, hey, he's left behind dry. But listen, people, he's not. Right. You're, 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 you're all right. And I want to encourage every one of you this morning uh, to remember this, that God does not leave you. Jesus does not leave you. He's always there sitting by the side of God, making intercession for us for the things that we do wrong. And he's, he's taking the blame for himself and he's saying, hey, I'm, I, I, I shed my blood for him. He's mine. She's mine. And listen, what, what they do, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, hey, give it, lay it to my account. Mm -hmm. And so he says, I'll never leave you. And uh, he's, he's, he's right there beside of God, and he's making these intercessions for us. And so listen, don't get down in the dumps a lot of times. Right. Things don't go right, right, and get to fretting about this, and get to grumbling about this, and, and carrying on. Because listen, it's not pleasing to the Lord. Right. It's not pleasing to him for us to grumble and gripe and to, to carry on and do things that we shouldn't do like that. So he says, trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, then verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Hey, that's something this morning that if we could, if we can delight ourselves in the Lord like this body delights in eating or uh, sleeping or, 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 or doing other things that it loves to, we need to delight ourselves in the Lord. We need to put Him out there first every morning and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I want to serve you. I want to know what you want me to do. And talk to the Lord like you should. And hey, He's there listening. Amen. Because Jesus is, is telling Him what, he, what we're saying. And so this morning, we have a, we have a direct line to God Himself through Jesus Christ and we can delight in the Lord Jesus Christ and we can delight in knowing that we know the Father and we can delight in knowing that the Holy Spirit is there to comfort us and we Amen. can delight in the fact knowing that one day we're going to be in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ and with God the Father and we're going to be there eternally and we're going to be uh, doing what is pleasing to God and I believe with all my heart there won't be no burdens there. There won't be no tears. Of course, the Bible Amen. says that. And so we're going to be enjoying that place. And he said here, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Now, uh, again, again, if we delight in the Lord, the desires of our heart will not be as much on the earth as those that are fretting and carrying on all the time we will have we'll have these desires because i mean it's natural for the flesh to have desires to want things and we we sometimes we want them but the thing that we need to do is before we go off the deep end about some of these things is is ask the lord do i need them mm -hmm. do i need them now and, and if i need them he says he'll take care of our needs Amen. So, listen, we can be on the right track with, with the Lord Jesus Christ and with God and what our desires are and what our needs are and we can stay true to Him and we can eliminate a lot of this fretting that we do. 
And here he says, commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and the and he shall bring it to pass. And so, and I, and I, I mean, I, I know it. I know what he can do. I have seen it in my life. Amen. I've seen it in other people's lives. I, I'm enjoying it today. Uh, I'm enjoy, I have enjoyed it and I will continue to enjoy it because he, he will bring it to pass and sometimes we get a little bit uh, anxious mm -hmm. but listen when the time is right he'll do it mm -hmm. and until that time you just be patient and wait on him because this thing of, uh, of patience will, will overcome this fretting and you won't be unpatient about these things and you'll wait because listen, you've got to accept the fact that he said he could do it, he would do it. And if you believe it, then you know that he's going to do it. So just just sit still and don't get excited about it because when the time comes, he'll do it. Amen. And here he says, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noon noonday, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his own way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. And so again, <clears throat> we we see we see this stuff going on all the time in our world of, of, of everybody doing this wickedness and so many of them they are gained by it. but mm -hmm. listen jesus don't want us to look at that because we need to be looking at something else amen and that's him mm -hmm. because listen he is our he is our 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 brother jesus christ he's our savior jesus christ and he is the son of god yeah. that created everything right so if we if we can if we can focus on jesus christ and on the god and on the holy spirit listen we'll 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 bypass a lot of this spreading and we'll bypass a lot of this looking over here and saying uh boy i wish i had what they've got because listen the wicked have it mm -hmm. but it don't last long because like you said it's cut down with the grass and and you know, uh, if you think about cutting the grass, uh, uh, how often do you cut it? Mm -hmm. You cut it when it gets just a little bit off. So, so this morning, these are some of the things that will help us when things get, we think, gets going wrong because this flesh, it, it always, it's always uh, fretting because it's, it's saying, well, uh, this is going to happen and this is going to happen and I hope this don't happen and it's always thinking about the worst thing in the world that can happen to us but the thing of it is we, we, we still got to come to the, to the knowledge or, or understanding that God is there on the throne and Amen. Jesus is sitting right beside of him making intercession for us and so what else in this world could we want? We, right. we need we need to think and, and depend on that so here here he's here again let me see what he says here in verse 8 cease from anger and forsake wrath and this is some of the things that causes uh, causes this uh, fretting is anger and wrath and he says fret not thyself in any any wise any wise to do evil and you know we sometimes sit around and or you know and think about things that's that's not really pleasing to god uh we do and uh we make things to ourselves ourselves if it was me i'd do this and if it's me i'd do that and the most of the time when that is coming about in our flesh it's not what is pleasing to god amen and so it, it, it stirs up it stirs this flesh and we we we, we fret now for yet notice here for evildoers in verse 9 shall shall be cut off but those that wait upon the lord they shall inherit the earth amen now what is he saying here to us about inheriting the earth well we're not going to inherit the earth like it is today people we we have no need of inheriting something that is filthy as this earth is today amen. but there is going to be a new heaven and a new earth amen and we're going to inherit that 
And all we need to do here this morning is, uh, is to wait upon the Lord and we will inherit it because if we wait upon the Lord, if we have patience and wait upon the Lord, we're going to be serving the Lord. And we can't serve the Lord like we, what, like it's pleasing to Him unless we've been saved. And if we're, if we're saved and, and, and we're waiting on, uh, patiently on the Lord, and we know this morning if we are or not. Right. I, 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 people, I can't, I, can't, I can't go past that. We know. Uh, we may have doubts. We may have doubts about our salvation from time to time, and we may question, God, did, did I, was I really saved? But listen, that Holy Spirit comes right back to you, Amen. and He'll assure you if you'll just wait upon the Lord. And listen, if, if we wait upon the Lord, then we're going to inherit the earth, and the, the new, it's the new Jerusalem. Now, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. And of course, we know this morning that he's talking about inheriting this earth and there's not going to be no wicked left upon this earth. They're going to all be cast into hell and there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth here. And we're going to be, we have inherited that and we're going to be with the Father and we're going to be with God and, and we're going to be in happiness. And so this is what he's talking about, inheriting eternal life or inheriting the earth. And so he says uh, here, ye... Uh, for ye yet a little while, and the wicked shall be not be. Yea, they shall diligently consider his place. Here it is. And it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth. Amen. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And people, this meekness, uh, it's, it's one of the best blessings that a human being can have. Is to be meek, and I have seen them. I have seen people that was was so meek uh, that uh, I wondered if they was crazy. Uh, they, they didn't. They didn't care about care nothing about the world and what what it had. I mean, if they had it, they'd give it to you and say, "Hey, you can have it." I mean, you know. Uh, and to me, uh, that's the type of the meekness that I I need more of than what I've got. And, and here he says here that the wicked, uh, the meek shall inherit the earth. And that, of course, that's something that I need to, to have. And, and I, I, I just ain't got, got it like I want it. But here, uh, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his day is coming. Amen. And, and, and I, as I was studying this and reading this, I thought to myself, well, I just wonder what the Lord looks like laughing. You know, but it's it's important to, to realize that, that that God is setting up the earth. And he's seeing, and, and listen people, he's, he knows everything that's going to happen. He, he created everything. And right. Everything was done before anything started. If you can if you can grasp that, everything was done before anything was started. Mm -hmm. and he knows what's going to happen, and but he's he's sitting there seeing these things come to pass, and he's he's watching all of those those people that will not love him, will not hear about him, will scoff his name, and they scoff the the people that are trying to to serve the Lord the meek and the humble and he laughs mm -hmm. because he knows where the those sinners are going to be mm -hmm. and 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 people it's 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 something that this whole body of mine just can't hardly grasp a hold of but listen it's true because God's word says it's true amen and here he says here uh uh, the, the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bows to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. So again, we see here that the wicked are always after those that are trying to serve the Lord. And the sword shall enter into their own hearts and their bow shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath, boy, this is good, this is good, is better 
than the riches of many wicked. Amen. So if you've got, if you've got a, 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 a cup that's half full of water and a window to throw it out of, you're blessed. Mm -hmm. that, that you know you're, you're blessed and uh, don't never think that that cup will ever go dry don't ever think that that what you have will be uh, done away with because listen God gave it to you and he says here that a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked and you know how the riches uh, of the wicked are they they build mansions and they build all this and they build all that but listen they're soon cut down and right away but the, the 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 little man here that has just a just a little bit, he is so much better. His his that he that God gave him is so much better than all of those. For in verse seventeen, for the arm of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. And so again, uh, you know, it, it, I can't tell you nothing no better than what God's word says. Amen. That the, the arm that the arm of the righteous is going to hold us up, and and uh, uh, he says, for the arm of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous, and and so that arm of the old wicked is going to be broke off, but the arm of the Lord is going to, is holding us up, and listen, that's where this morning. You, if you think back, you can count your blessings. You can think about the things that the Lord has done for you, the way that He's blessed you. And, and I know that everything don't go smooth every day. But listen, when you need a blessing, He gives it to you. Amen. And, and He encourages you with these things. And uh, we need to we need to praise His name. We need to praise Him and and, and serve Him better than what we do. They are now know the Lord knows the day in verse eighteen. The days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the day of famine they shall be satisfied. Amen. So people, that's something you rest on. Mm -hmm. That's something that I mean. That's something that you can sit down and and just be patient with because he he's he's telling us this. And and listen, we don't know what tomorrow brings. We don't know, but we do know this. We know that if it brings famine, or if it brings whatever, the Lord is our with us. Because he says here, they shall, uh, and, and the Lord knoweth the day of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil times which we have, and which will be getting worse, and in the day of famine, they shall be satisfied. Amen. And he's promised us that, and he showed, he showed us that, Five thousand years ago in Egypt, with the with the with the Jewish people down there, they 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 made it and they come out and everything was good with them and and it wasn't the easiest thing, but listen, they survived and they come mm -hmm. out. And he says, "But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs; they shall consume into smoke." shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy Amen. and giveth. So that's, a, that's another thing this morning that will help you with this spreading. Listen, if you have something and a, per, a brother or a sister or someone that comes to you is in need, listen, you need to open your heart to them uh, and not, not say, well, I wonder if he's going to go buy help. I, I mean, listen, uh, hey, and you, 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 you just, you can't, uh, you just can't look at a person and, and say, uh, uh, you know, Diane's up there across the other day in, in the store, and boy come up and asked her for 35, 40 cents a bottle of bread. Uh, and I said, well, my thought was, hey, you can't buy a loaf of bread for 35, 40 cents. And uh, she asked him, said, are you going to buy that bread? He said, you watch me. And so he went down there. I don't know what he did, but uh, the thing of it is, regardless of what he bought, if he bought chewing gum with it, listen, it was her opportunity to be a blessing. Right. And to share what the Lord had blessed her with. And so, I mean, hey, these people that are, that are out on the corner begging, I mean, you see their work. But, and you don't know, you don't know, but the thing of it is, the Lord, the Lord will show you a lot of time for her where you need to stop where you don't but anyway here's that's the thing it it, it will help you with the, with this ready but 
Uh, I, I about through here, but anyway, listen. Uh, in verse uh, uh, verse twenty two, for such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, Amen. and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Very encouraging. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Amen. I have been young, now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. Amen. And he said, the Lord, the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Right. And the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. So this is the, the time is up and this is some of the things that I wanted to read to you this morning and I hope that I hope that uh, in times to come when when the devil comes upon you and, 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 and wants to stir that old body of yours up and cause you to start fretting, remember these words. Uh, it's it, it won't do you no good to fret because it won't accomplish a thing. It's just like, you know, worried about worried about something. Hey, worrying about something don't do it no good. But the thing of it is, that's what this flesh wants to do, is mm -hmm. worry. It, Amen. It, it delights in worrying. Uh, and uh, so uh, think upon these things that I've read to you this morning that, uh, that will encourage your heart. Uh, you are God's children. Mm -hmm. You are God's children, people. I mean, that's, that's something that we, we sometimes we, we don't think about, but we're God's children. And that should mean all the world to you. Amen. And that should encourage you to, to go on another mile, you know. Uh, and we're not, uh, we're not far from going home, so uh, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy the ride because uh, you get old and you look back on your younger days and you say, well, I wish I have did something different from what I did. Well, you got another day to live for the Lord. And you do this day in a way that would be pleasing to the Lord. And when you look back later on, you say, well, that was a good day. Mm -hmm. So we thank you for listening to our son's speech. Thank you.